Hey, it's Alex coming at you on a Friday afternoon. Wow, we're one week away from what? Trunk or treat. Trunk or treat, I got the flyer up here and it's so exciting. We had a great time this past Wednesday night. We did pumpkin decorating and I have never seen so many creative pumpkins in my life. It was just fabulous, all the different creations. We had the carvings, we had carving kits, we had paints, we had um, feathers, we had pom-poms, we had glitter glue, we had everything, everything. And so those pumpkins were fabulous, I just got to tell you. So hopefully some of the families posted their pumpkin creations online because they really turned out so great. Got one right behind me. You might be able to see it glowing inside a little bit. So that's one of our students' pumpkins right there. You know whose that is, I'm sure. And I got some other pumpkin buddies back here. We just got pumpkins going on all over the place. But, hey, we're kicking off fall, and we're, we're getting ready. We're all geared up for trunk or treat. Thank you, church family, for contributions, uh, that, for items that we're going to need, because we are going to be serving. Um, we're going to be serving grilled hot dogs and chips and drinks and maybe some other things, too. But there's going to be lots of trunks and lots of treats, and I've seen some of the ideas. I folks are getting competitive. I'm, that's one thing about it. People get excited about decorating their trunks or whatever, trunks, trucks, pickups, whatever. It's just going to be so much fun, and that is next Friday, October 30th, right here in the parking lot. It's just going to be so much fun. It's going to be fun. Okay, and Bath Library right across the street is going to do Hotel Transylvania outdoor movie right on the lawn, right across from the church. So people can do their trunk retreating, grab a quick bite to eat, grab a gift bag from the church, and then they can mosey on over to the library and just have a nice family night. Nice family night. We want to offer that. I offer that and and through the bags we'll have information about the church and about the activities that we have coming up because we want to we want to invite people we want people to come and join us for worship and join us for fellowship and fun like what we had the other night um that's so special for our church family to be able to get together and celebrate we're going to celebrate oh what else i have to take a deep breath because this is just, it's just a few short days and there's still a lot of work to do. So thank you for everybody that's just pitching in and helping. The signs are up along the road. Um, we are good to go. Word's getting out. Flyers are available. Get the word out. Share, share, share. Share, share, share. Okay, what else is going on? Well, November is right around the corner and our packing party is on Sunday, November the 8th, right after worship. I do want to say, though, on that Worship Sunday, the youth will be honoring our veterans, uh, seeing that that is the Sunday before Veterans Day. We want to honor our veterans because we know how special they are, that their life commitment to our country and to the freedoms that we have. So I want to remind everybody about that coming up on the 8th. Um, and, of course, the packing party. Packing party is, oh, wow, we, my office is just cluttered. I'm sorry if anybody walked in here, you would say, um, Alex, you probably need to clean up in here, but you know what? There's so much going on. I got to put this stuff somewhere. So it's, it's building up in here, but that's what Christmas is all about. It's, it's about the missions that we're doing through Operation Christmas Child. And we're so excited as we get closer to that collection time. Wow. So Christmas programs coming up. Um, we need help with the planning for the um, for the Bath Christmas Parade on the 6th of December. There's just a lot going on. You'll see it in the newsletter when it comes out. But it's such a great time of year. Such a great time of year. And we just thank everybody for their support of the youth program. It's It's been a tremendous year, even with the pandemic. Even with the pandemic, we have been blessed beyond measure. And when I think about the light in the pumpkin, right up here, our student's pumpkin, um, I just want to, it reminds me of scripture. It reminds me of scripture from Matthew. Matthew 5, starting at verse 14, where Jesus was talking about the salt and the light. And Jesus said, you are the light of the world. 
A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And that's really what Trump Retreat is all about. It's about glorifying our Father in heaven, being an outreach to let people know about our church, about just just that relationship with Christ that happens through the fellowship of Christians right in that in that house, that house of God. And the, and the good thing about light, where there is light, there can't be darkness. Darkness can exist when light penetrates. And that's what we want to be. We want to penetrate the darkness. We want to let our light shine before men so they would see the Lord's great deeds and glorify his name. Always giving glory to the Lord because he is so faithful and he is so good to us. Oh, I think that's all I got. But Again, we're so excited because we're just a few short days away. And again, thank you, church, for just being so supportive of the youth program. Um, we, we love you. We appreciate our church family. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, you are truly an amazing, amazing God. You know everything about us, Lord. And Father, we thank you that we can be the light to pierce the darkness to shine and, and let you be glorified in the deeds that we do on this earth, Father, that it's not for us, Lord, it's for you, because we want other people to know Jesus Christ like we know Jesus, because he makes all the difference to us, Father. He gives us hope. He, know, he shows us his love unconditionally, and we're just so grateful, Lord, that you loved us enough to send your only begotten Son. Father, we pray for Trunk Retreat that it'll be a wonderful evening. We pray for each family that will come and each child that will come. We pray for each member who will host a trunk. We thank you for each person who's donating. Lord, every little thing, every little thing comes together to make this a community mission project. And we, and we can't do it alone, Lord. We have to have our church family to, to connect and to work together, Father, as we are all working on the same plane for the same purpose and the same mission. We pray for our church family, Lord. There are those that have lost loved ones, those that are hurting, and we just want to lift them up and pray that you would just keep your arms around them, Father, and comfort them. Be with our pastor and his wife. Father, be with our church family, and we again thank you that we have a church family. We can gather here together and lift praises to you, and Father, we love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen, and we hope that you have a good weekend, and we'll see you Sunday.